right freaking now? Is it time to start a business? Is it time to start an offline business? Is it time to start an online business? Right now, during this pandemic, is it time for you to start your business? Well, it depends. Hey, this video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, AKA Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills.com. If you want to start a business, get your credit straight or fight your child support, check it out. We've got a lot of educational products for you. All right, so let's go ahead and understand where we are and what we have going on. Is it the time for you to start a business? Depends upon how you're positioned. If you are broke dick Danny, if you are penniless Priscilla, if you lost your job, you have no money in your checking account and you are struggling and you're sitting around here on YouTube watching these stimulus check videos, hoping and praying and please send me another check. More than likely, no. This is not the time for you to start a business. It's just not because you're not properly positioned. Now, if you've been a long term viewer of this channel and you've bought some courses and you've got your money right, you have no debt. This is the best time in the world to start a business. During this mess, we're going to have new millionaires and billionaires created because they have positioned themselves to take advantage of the opportunity. And what is the opportunity? Everything's on sale. Men on sale, women on sale, houses on sale, cars on sale. Everything is for sale. Also, there's less competition. So for those of you who are properly positioned, this is the best time in the world to start a business. Virtually any business. Also, this is gonna be a good time for you to take over existing businesses if you have cash and operational experience. And operational experience will be more important than the cash because during this pandemic, we had a lot of businesses closed. And these businesses have been closed for so long that they would literally need startup capital to reopen. Many restaurants, many small businesses, they're not gonna open up because they don't have the money and they're deep in debt. So this was an opportunity if you have money and operational experience. My recommendation, don't buy a business you don't know nothing about. Don't do that. Because there's a reason that these businesses are gonna be for sale. And it's going to be because of lack of operational experience or the owner of the business built the business to sell and just tired of having it and they want a lump sum of cash. So be very, very aware of what you're getting yourself into if you buy a business. Let's talk about what kind of businesses should you start. Right now, if you have a properly positioned online business, it's like Christmas. I've got friends with online businesses that say they're having record sales. They're blowing it out the water. And don't ask what kind of business is that so you can get into it. That's the wrong answer wrong play I'm not gonna tell you what my friends do I will tell you that I my sales have gone up a lot of my friends I've talked to their sales have gone up and they're in the online information space and their e-com space and if you're properly positioned you putting hand you putting money hand over fist right now you are, there ain't no recession up in your house there ain't no depression up in your house so if you're one of these well positioned people with some money and I think you're going to need about five to fifteen thousand dollars and I'm going to tell you where you should spend your money because this is where I'm getting ready to drop some money in coming months. You should start an online business and you should spend around fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars to build your custom website that looks and feels really good and is super attractive because that's where it all starts. If they don't click, they don't like the website. The sales process does not begin. There's 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 something wrong when you know you send traffic to a website and a lot of the traffic just goes, "This is booty, <laughs> it's booty. I don't like this website," and they just bounce away. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand, you you should do a website. 
and you should either hire someone or you should learn how to do Facebook ads or you should learn how to do Google ads or LinkedIn ads or Bing ads. You've got, because you build a website, they're not just gonna show up. You can build the best website, it can have the best functionality. You gotta drive traffic to that puppy. So you got to learn how to do ads or associate yourself with someone who can do ads because ads are very, very important. Right now, I'm doing a lot of testing. Next month, I'm probably gonna open up my Google AdWords course because I will have a lot of information and data to share with you guys. One of the things that you, you've got to understand with an internet business is profitability isn't as quick as with a service business. Like, you can go ahead and place some ads on Craigslist, I paint rooms, and literally you could be making money that week. Don't work like that online. Typically, you know, if you're established, you can come out with a new credit, new product and make money that day, but it's the whole process of getting established, which means that you gotta have a website, you gotta learn how to run ads, and you need to learn how to copyright. It doesn't matter if you're selling e-commerce products or online, it doesn't matter. You need to learn how to write copywriting because copywriting, it comes into play with your emails, it comes into play with your copy on your website, it comes into play with your product descriptions. It's just an invaluable skill for you to learn. So get your website, learn how to run ads, learn how to do copywriting, and in about 90 days to six months, you can be making a gang of money. That's how fast it can go online. Let's see, my first digital product took me about six and a half months to start making money and I was working full time. So this is why I say for those of you who are well positioned, who have money, who are in a situation where you can weather the storm, this is a perfect opportunity for you to start a business. Now, let's talk about investing. Should you start investing? Absolutely. This is gonna be the perfect time for you if you're well positioned for real estate, you wanna start a trucking company, you're gonna need some cash, you're gonna start a trucking company. If you just have enough money to get the truck, that, that ain't good enough. You're gonna need to have some reserves, about 20 to 30K in the bank after you acquire the driver, after you acquire the truck, because things break and to keep your trucking business going, you gotta get your truck repaired or you gotta rent another truck to keep your loads going. So, you know, the trucking business can be very lucrative if you know what you're doing, but if you just get into it and you're bad with money management, you're bad with cost controls, it's gonna eat you alive. The internet businesses are way more forgiving because if you make a mistake, it's not like trucking or a physical product business, but absolutely, this is the perfect time for you to start a business. This is the perfect time. Like, let me give you a few roadmaps that are about to happen. If For real estate, for my real estate people, be ready in 2021. Be ready, be ready, be ready. We have people who chose a forbearance when they should have got a deferment. We have all these Airbnb people out here who, who are gonna have to fire sell their houses. And then we're gonna have unemployment, high unemployment, because all these businesses that have closed and people are not gonna be able to get mortgages. So those three things right there is going to create a very robust and buyer's market for real estate in 2021. So if you wanna get into real estate investment, be spend the rest of this year getting your credit together, getting your money together, getting your ducks to order, and studying the market, and this is something else too. Even if you're not buying, you still need to study the market so you know what's going on in the market when you're in the position to buy to know if you're getting good deals. Like right now, I have seen so many houses in my market come off the market and they've gone up as rentals because it's starting to get bad. So for you real estate investors, this is going to be the time. Let's talk about investing, stock market, Bitcoin. For you folks who like that kind of stuff, get ready to buckle in because it's gonna be a wild, wild ride. Because once the earning reports of all these companies that have been sheltered in place, they ain't been making no money, once they hit the stock market, the stock market's gonna crash again. And that can be an opportunity if you're well positioned and you're in a state where you can put money in the market and not need that money. Because the whole name of the game is being properly positioned to win. Like right now, 
the whole real estate game, you know, like these low down payments, these government backed loan payments, the down payment assistance, all that's about to dry up. It's gonna to get to the point where you're gonna to have to have A1 credit and cash to get a piece of real estate unless you wanna get into creative financing where you find someone who has a house they own outright and they're willing to work with you on this creative financing. But other than that, you're gonna to have to enter the deal with some cash and some good credit. And also, there's gonna to be tons and tons of deal because in volatility, because right now everything's volatile, volatile. Everything is crazy, everything's in flux. There is so much opportunity in the chaos. There is so much opportunity for people who are clear thinking, who are on their, quick on their feet, and who can recognize opportunity. Case in point, Facebook ads and Google ads have gotten cheaper because a lot of people stopped spending. That's an opportunity where you can get more of whatever from the ad than you could before. There's so many opportunities for people who have cash, cash, cream, cash rules everything around me. I've been preaching this, I've been talking to you guys for this for a few years. Hopefully you listen, hopefully you have some cash because these credit card companies are gonna start cramming down your limits. It's just a matter of time because as the economy gets rocky, they have predictive analysis software that can predict with a great deal of accuracy if you're about to default and they're going to start cutting you off based upon your previous buying and spending pattern. You're about to get shut down. But this is a unique opportunity for anyone who wants to start a business. This is a unique opportunity for anyone who is ready to start a business, who has the proper mindset who is willing to get into the game, who's willing to understand what is going on. Because, you know, if you're a person who isn't properly prepared and positioned, these are the worst of times. But if you got money in the bank, these are the best of times ever. You know, if you got $100,000 in the bank, you could turn that into a million during this. this that's how things are gonna be. These are the best of times. If you are properly positioned, you have the hustler's mindset, you've got cash in the bank, and you're not dragged down by debt. One of the things I've been talking for the last two to three years, get out of debt, get out of debt, get out of these high car payments, get out of this, stack your cash so you can be ready to take advantage of this. Because if you were in the position where you listened to me and you were in the position to buy one rental, you'd be able to scoop up four rentals during this mess. That's, you know, your, your money's gonna be 4X to literally 10X what it used to get you because like right now in this mess, there is so much opportunity. If you are straight and if you are level headed and clear thinking, there is so much opportunity there's so many ways that you can make money. There's so many ways that you can set some stuff up. If you wanna get an Amazon FBA, you can buy an Amazon FBA business. You don't even have to start from scratch. Once again, I would be careful with buying an Amazon FBA business because uh, Amazon can get rid of you in a heartbeat. They can just shut you down like that. So depending on what side of the aisle are you on, if you penniless Priscilla, broke dick Danny, no. But if you a paid Percy, if you're serious Sam, you got yourself together, oh my God, baby, the things that you would be able to accomplish if you would just get to work. So in the nod to our sponsors, for those of you who wanna take advantage of this, you can go ahead and get H Undergrad, which is a curriculum that teaches you how to run and start a business. So you go ahead and check that out. Links below, you can go to hustlerskungfulifeskills.com. You can get on that. So check out this next video and I will see you guys in the next one.